Thank you for joining this lesson. Uh, we are going to study gamma radiations, which is one of the forms of energies released during radioactivity. As we had mentioned, radioactivity is the release of particles and energy during the process of spontaneous disintegration when a nuclei is not stable or it is unstable. So whenever disintegration of nucleates take place, we have release of either alpha particles, beta particles, or gamma radiations. Therefore, gamma radiations are not particles generally, but just a form of energy which accompanies, which accompanies the release of alpha particles or beta particles. So we can say these are form of energy, a form of energy which accompanies or is released together, released together, released together with alpha particles and beta particles. This is how we abbreviate alpha particles and beta particles. Therefore, during the release of beta particles and alpha particles, we have what we call gamma radiations or gamma energy, which is released together with them. The radiations have some properties and we are going to see them. One of the properties is that they are electromagnetic waves in nature. Electromagnetic waves in nature. They are electromagnetic waves in nature and they possess a lot of energy. They possess a lot of energy. They have no mass. They have no mass and also no charge. The fact that gamma radiations have no mass, they make them move at a very high speed. They have a high speed. And when they have a high speed, it means when they are passing through air, they cause little ionization. They cause very little ionization. So their ionization effect is too little. Their ionization effect is too little. Again, because they are not charged, we are saying they have no charge, then they are not deflected. They are not deflected by air. Magnetic or electric fields. They are not reflected by either magnetic or electric fields since they got no charge. Since they got no charge. Again, we are saying they have a very high ionization power, a very high penetration power since. They move at a very fast speed, and we are saying they don't have even mass, so they can penetrate matter very fast. They have high penetration power. They have high penetration power. Can only be stopped. Can only be stopped. By thick, by thick. Lead. So a thick lead block can can block or can stop a stream of gamma radiations, but they can penetrate a sheet of paper. They can penetrate aluminium sheets. Can only be stopped by thick lead block because they are moving very fast. They are having very high energy having very high energy. So those are some of the properties of what we call gamma radiations. Generally, we can say, since they have no mass, we can say that the release of gamma radiations, the release of gamma radiations, or gamma rays, has no effects. Has 
not equal to the mass number or the atomic number of atoms. So those are the properties of radiations. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link.